Hi everyone, um, so I just got my Mimi box, um, my new OMG box today, um, and I ordered this one at the same time as my skincare box. If you want to have a look at that, just have a look on my channel. I'll also put a link in the description bar. Um, I have already had a look at what's in here. I have already filmed um, an unboxing, but um, I've decided to redo it. So, unfortunately, I've taken all the seals off and everything. Okay, so as usual you get your card which tells you about the items in there. And then the first item is from Hope Girl, which is a brand, if you've watched many other unboxings, that Mimi Box has in quite a lot and it's a Hope Girl Night Diva Lip Gloss, 6 grams, and this is a full size. And it's got the typical Hope Girl packaging, which is black with gold lettering and like a leopard print. And mine is in in number one pink drop. So it says this is a lip gloss with two different shades graduated together in a single product. Despite this being a lip gloss, the Night Diva gloss is non-sticky, smoothly spreading, and highly moist all in one. It also carries a built-in LED light and a mirror. So you don't have to take out your hand mirror or visit the ladies room for a quick touch up anymore. And it says apply an adequate amount of the lip gloss on your lips as the direction. So there we are, mirrors on the back. And it's just got a little peel off sticker on just to protect it. And then there's a button on the top. Let's see if I can get that. There we are. And there's the LED light. So it lights up your face while you put your lip gloss on. And it's kind of like a peachy pink colour. It's quite cool, really. Um, I've heard of these um, light up lip glosses before with the mirrors on, but I've never actually had one myself, so it was quite cool to get that. Um, let me just try it on, do a swatch for you. There, yeah, so it's quite sheer. It feels alright on the lips, it doesn't feel particularly. Is a little bit sticky. It's not too bad. I think it's definitely wearable. Um, so I'm quite glad to get that. I haven't got many lip glosses in my collection. Um, not that I'm really a particular fan of them, but really I've only got like one or two, so I'll be quite happy to use that occasionally. So that's number one. Number two is the Skin As Premium Vitablet or Vitablet, and that comes in this really cute box. And then it comes in a little jar. It says, you might wonder, what is a Vita tablet? Vita tablet comes from combining vitamin with tablet and refers to skin as a unique tablet type of vitamin cleanser rich in vitamin C and aroma oil. What's so special about this is that it even takes care of skincare while cleansing with its skin beneficial formula containing more than 300 grams of vitamin C which is equivalent to 2.3, sorry, 4.3, I don't know where, where I got the two from, 4.3 whole lemons, it'll be like having a, done a nourishing vitamin pack. Um, I think it might mean 300 milligrams, not 300 grams, because um, 4.3 lemons would weigh less than 300 grams. At the last stage of cleansing, drop one Vita tablet into a bowl of water and gently rinse your face with the vitamin water. It can be used daily or two to three times a week. Other than a facial cleanser, Vita Black can be used as a facial mist or hair bath or even on babies. So it comes in a little jar and then it's like these little kind of tablet shaped, I suppose they're a bit like a bath bomb really. Uh, they're really little. Don't smell of a lot, and then there's some kind of like silica of gel or something in the bottom to keep them dry. And this did have a um, security seal on it, but um, as I said, I've already opened it, so that's quite cool. I wonder if you make it into a mist, how long it keeps, or whether you'd have to use it all that day, or whether you could keep it in the bottle for maybe like a week or something and use it over the week. Hmm. Maybe if you use um, what's it called? Not sterilised. 
Maybe if you use distillated water you could do that. Okay, so the third thing is the Skin Ulta from Skin Owls. And this is the Kissable 24 hour lip tattoo. And this was the sneak peek from the box. And it says randomly selected from lovely pink, sexy red, rising sun, sweet wine and kiss orange. And it says it's also available. The also, well, the first three things and the last thing also they're available from the Mimi shop. Um, I'm just going to put... Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. It says, Skin Ours takes lip makeup to a whole new level with this lip tattoo. This will be the ultimate no makeup makeup since it actually works like an impermanent colour tattoo on your lips and does not smudge or get erased for 24 hours long. Plus it comes in five lusciously radiant colours. Apply the lip tattoo thickly over your lips and wait for 10 to 15 minutes until it completely dries up. Then remove the dried lip tattoo from one end to another. Finish off by applying another layer of lip gloss or balm over the top. Okay, so I've put some on my wrist there. You can see it's a really thick kind of gloopy consistency. Um, and it comes in this tube. I think I've got the red colour because I've seen someone else's video now. Um, the top of her box was a different colour. And... You can see mine's red on the top, so I think that's what signifies what colour um, it is, because there isn't written on it anywhere what colour it is. And then it's just in like a squeezy tube. It's kind of got a typical kind of Lancome um, juicy tubes kind of applicator. And it's kind of got like a berry fruit scent. It does run a little bit. I think I might have put too much in one place. But I'm going to leave this on um, for the rest of the video and hopefully at the end it'll be dry enough for me to peel it off and show you um, if it's stained my wrist or not. It's going to stand up. Just about. Okay, number four is Oh My Busty 3-Step Bust Care. So it says that this is the quick three-step process for taking care of your bust, especially recommended to be used before wearing a bikini. The gommage, the hydrogel pack and the cream are enriched with various nutritious ingredients for maintaining your bust skin soft and well moisturised. Uh, it says first off, you use the, um, remove any dead skin cells with the gommage by massing it, massaging it into your bust, which I think is this step. Um, then you then spread on the hydrogel pack and remove it after 10 to 15 minutes. I can be and said it can be worn inside a shirt. It's got these kind of little heart things on and on the picture she's got them over that her nipples. So I'm not sure what they're going to be like. Um, I can just feel a few different kind of flat things in there. I can't really decipher what's what, unfortunately. And then finally apply the cream generously over your bust and massage it in for full absorbance, which would be this step. So that's quite cool. Um, when I first pulled it out, I thought it was a bust enhancement thing rather than a... I suppose it's kind of a bust mask instead of a face mask. Um, which, if you um, had seen me, you think it was quite fun funny because um, I, I wouldn't need any help definitely wouldn't need a bust enhancement mask. But that's quite interesting. Re very, very strange. I've never heard of anything like this before. I know sometimes you get kind of bust and neck firming creams, but I've never seen anything like this before at all. And to be honest, I think it's actually quite a good idea. You kind of bust and decolletage and your sort of upper chest is on show a lot, particularly as a woman. It's going to be on show a lot for most of the rest of your life and really you need to look after it. So I'll definitely use that at some point. The fifth thing is probably the thing I'm most excited about. It's the Eliza Vecca Milky Pig Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And it's got this really cute picture of a pig in his clay mask on the front. And then inside there's a little pot and this was sealed with plastic. And inside it's got another lid and then a spatula, which I think is really cool. It's got like something actually got a place to clip it in inside so it's not just like rattling around. There we are. It's 
these really, really strange textures, like proper, like jelly like and gloopy. Leave that on there. And I'll, while well, I tell you what it does. So it says this nourishing one step facial mask with both pore and cleansing functions is not only packed with green tea extracts and pomegranate extracts and charcoal extracts. This clay mask contains carbonated water which starts to bubble up the moment it's applied to the face. I don't know if you can see a little bit of bubbling there. Uh, and deeply penetrates in your pores for getting all the gunk out while having, without having to harden up like average clay masks. It says note. Do not be alarmed if you see brownish liquid in the clay mask because it's actually highly concentrated natural green tea water bubbling up from the carbonated water. And then it says, for the directions, spread the bubble clay mask over uncleansed, unwet face. Let it be for about five minutes until it starts to create bubbles and massage on your face with wet hands for a deeper cleansing effect. Rinse off with warm water. It's really bubbling now. That's quite interesting. It's got quite a nice scent, actually. Not what I was expecting. It's kind of like a fruity, florally scent. I was expecting it to smell more like medicinally, with it being a clay mask or like a charcoal mask. So that's something I'll definitely use that. I'm all about the face masks. I might do a face masks face masks video at some point because I've got loads. I use them all the time. Okay, and then the last thing is the. Ladykin Aqua Exfoliator for Body 150ml full size and this has got a spray top and it's like got a pale blue bottle inside. Is it just me or do you think that looks like Mary Poppins as well? Definitely reminded me of Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins with a cat. Okay, so it says, in Korea, going down to a local public bath for a nice scrub is a very common and popular thing. You can get a quick glimpse into the world of body scrub stroke exfoliators with this gentle exfoliator from Ladykin. Enriched with cellulose compounds from papaya and pineapple extracts, this aqueous cellulose components from papaya and pineapple extracts, sorry, This aqua exfoliator for, for body removes all body, bodily dead skin cells and unnecessary impurities without having to, do, having to scrub down hard enough to stimulate your sensitive skin. All you need to do is spray this product all over your body and softly roll away the dead skin cells for cleaner, fresher and smoother body skin. And it says, after taking a shower, towel dry your wet body and evenly spray the aqua exfoliator body on areas you wish to remove dead skin cells. Then gently massage and roll away the now visible dead skin cells and impurities with your hands. Okay. Um, it's actually got a lock on the top of this spray section which I think is really good. Whoa. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit gross, all kind of the bits of skin bubbling up. In my first video I did a bit on here before and actually it feels really, really soft now, so I think it definitely does work. It's really unusual because um, it seems to be like a chemical exfoliator. It's a bit like the Minerva gel, green tea face peel, um, which is another Korean brand, but I think you can get it in Space NK, so it's not like... Um, it's quite well known in the UK. It's quite interesting that it's a chemical exfoliator for body. Um, I think everybody's quite well versed in them being for being able to get them for your face, but I've never seen any for your body thus far. Um, I'll definitely use it. I think it's quite a good size because you don't seem to need very much. Just like that one spray has covered my whole hand and it would have gone a bit further. So it's really interesting. Uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that. My legs are really bad at the minute. They're just really dry. So I'll probably be using that tonight. 
there's that mask. It's bubbled up even more now. I think actually it works best if you put it on thinner, the kind of thicker areas haven't bubbled up very much. Right, let's see if I, I can get this red stuff off or whether it's not been on for long enough. Ooh, I think it's still a bit sticky in places. Oh no, it's coming off. You can see that kind of pink mark left behind. So it's not that dark. I suppose it probably hasn't been on for quite long enough. Definitely an interesting product though. This would probably be really good if you're going to be wearing it like a kind of, because it's kind of more like a raspberry red. If you were going to be wearing it like a strong red lip and you knew you wanted to keep it on all day. So like put this on first, then do you like your lip liner and then put your lipstick on top and kind of do like a treble layer of colour to really, really lock it on. Because I suppose it's got no, it's not oily at all, it just kind of stains the skin. So that's interesting. So the things I got in my box were the lip gloss and it says the value of this is $22. The Vita Blitz, which says the value of this is $46. The Lip Tattoo, which says the value of that is $18. The Bust Kit, which says is $6. The Clay Mask, which again is $46. And then the Exfoliator, which is $14. Um, obviously these are inflated prices somewhat... Um, I've definitely seen these are on the website at the minute for about six dollars, so a bit for an overstatement. But that that was on sale. I think they definitely were on for eighteen dollars before. But still, I'm really really happy with this box. Um, I think some really interesting things. Um, I think I probably will use everything in this box. I think I'm probably least excited about the lip gloss, but I've said before I don't really like lip gloss all that much. But I think I'll definitely use the exfoliator. I'll definitely use the mask. I'll definitely get use out of this even if it's just so um, me and my partner can laugh about it. Um, the Vita tablets are quite interesting, I'll probably keep them from when I'm having like a, a spa night. Um, and I think I probably will actually use the um, kissable lip thing. It does take quite a long time to do but it's quite a nice colour if it, if it lasts longer than, than like a normal lip stain. I think it might be quite nice. So yeah, that's everything. So it basically cost me about, um, so it's $15.99. No, that's not right. Basically, it cost me about 20 quid with postage. So it is really good value for money. Um, this came really, really quickly. Um, it actually came a day earlier than it did last time. So it only came six days since the shipping date. And I paid for standard delivery, not express. Um, a part of that I think is because I live in the UK and I think it takes a little bit longer for them to get to the US. But yeah, really happy. Um, my um, partner had a bit of a laugh about this um, when I was showing him what I got in it. And he said about doing an unboxing video for my next Mimi box. Or I might even be able to persuade him to do it for this one. But um, tell me what you think about that. I think, I think it'd be really quite funny. Um, I, I won't spoil it if he does decide to have a go with this one because um, I thought it was really funny. Anyway, have a good day everyone, and um, yeah, tell me what you think, don't forget to like and subscribe, have a good day, bye!